Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to our channel. My name is the Lady Cider, and today we are finally back with another franchise mode episode. And uh, <laughs> oh my god, these are just so adorable. Uh, we had some technical difficulties with the game, so that is why this episode is a little bit later than planned. Uh, but you guys, uh, you guys are just amazing. The support under all these videos are just incredible. Thank you so, so much for that. And we also did a poll on the community wall. Uh, keep an eye out for the community wall for other polls in the future as well. Uh, for you guys, so you can vote on what animal will be added next to our uh, tropical franchise zoo. And uh, yes, well, in the previous episode, we did add these uh, cuties, the tapirs, and the um, most adorable small clawed otters. And this one, uh, wait, you were pregnant in the previous episode? Are you going to tell me that you already got a bit? <laughs> Maybe, or uh, did anything go wrong? H I was trying to make... What? Wait, wasn't that little cuddle that she became pregnant? I am a little tiny bit confused about that. Um, however, I mean, I was like, I really wanted to see that cute little animation again of these small clawed otters doing a little huggy thingy. Uh, so, well, maybe we are lucky then, and uh, we are going to see that. I am a little bit confused, though, because I really thought, like, oh my god, she's, she's pregnant, we're not gonna see this animation much longer. Well, okay, it, it is what it is. Okay, also the tapirs are not pregnant just yet, so yes, that should happen somewhere. Oh, yes, oh, that's right. Many guests think the tickets are underpriced. We need to uh, work on that. I'm gonna remove this alert. And we're gonna raise this to maybe six or something. And the kids to five. Let's see if the guests can live with that. Oh my god, they're already doing the little huggy thing. Uh, wait a second, this one now actually is pregnant. Oh my god, this is so cute. I was actually wondering, like, there was this thing that we could uh, get, like, a message when these uh, otters or any other animal is going to do anything, but I'm not really sure. I, I did turn on everything as far as I can tell. Uh, we have a lot of flamingos right over here and a lot of flamingo babies, which is actually a good thing, so... I don't think the flamingos are becoming super stressed or anything like that. Are you going to use that? Are you? Are you going to enjoy the water? Oh, you're just, <laughs> you're just passing through. All right, all right. Uh, so, okay, we did a poll on the community wall and with 44% of like 12 thousand votes you guys you kidding me i think that's a record of all times Twelve thousand votes we had a 44 percent winner of uh being the fennec fox so we are definitely going to add the fennec fox uh in this episode later on uh we have 14 or well, 15 thousand dollars at this point that is not that much like i do not have any idea, to be completely honest, what the Fennec Fox is going to cost us. So let's have a look and see. Also, I have no idea how many we should get. We have uh, 21,000 conservation credits, which is actually not bad. Wait a second, we actually can buy this golden one. I'm gonna buy you. Okay, you are having like this really, really good rating. So I do really like that. Is this the same zoo? This is. So the, the, the chances are that this golden one is going to be causing some inbreeding. Uh, so we maybe should go for a female. I think I'm gonna go for you. From the Frontier Zoo. Wait, did I adopt you? Tell me I did. Did I? Do I have a female? Wait. What? How? What? What? Why do I have a baby? The little otter in here. What? 
Oh my goodness. What? What? Why? That is so confusing. I have a baby otter in my trading center. You're kidding me. What? Well, no, I, it's been uh, it's been a f two weeks ago or something like that since I recorded the previous episode, and after that, I had like crashing issues and stuff. I, I can't really remember, but maybe uh, I was trying to make a screenshot, and then the otter gave birth already, and I was like, "Wait a second, no, 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 that's not good." And, and then I sent it to the trading center, but I really cannot remember. But it could be that I I did that. There is only one girl here interested in any talk. <laughs> I feel so sad for you. But, okay, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, so we have two Fennec Foxes in our training center. Now the only thing... Uh, like, let's compare these mates. Wait, can I not do that when you are not yet... In a habitat, I guess so. Because I, I, I guess if I click you, wait, why, why is that? Okay, it, it probably is due to the fact that they are still in the training center. I'm a bit confused about that, but it's been such a long time since I played, so I guess maybe things did change over time. How many? Okay, well, I, I think we should just go for two for now. And maybe if the habitat would be big enough, we could potentially get another one in. That would be 210 square meters. But if we would get some babies, let's say, let's go for like a 300 square meters habitat or something like that. Gosh, I, I like the setup of this habitat, but it definitely needs a lot more work. Okay, let's have a look right over here. We have some uh, hungry flamingos, which actually is not really a good thing. Are, is my staff already too busy being able to handle both habitats? Like, how many staff members do we have? We have, like, a lot of the flamingos being super hungry. So... Uh, we only have one keeper. Well, maybe that makes sense then. Maybe maybe we should just get another keeper in as we're going to have, like, another habitat today. So maybe that is just... Let's go and put that one on everything. Uh, these guys are all trained. What does it cost? We, we can send these guys for more training. It's not, like, super expensive, so... I actually feel like we should just go for that. Uh, the rest is becoming a little bit more expensive. Well, the, the the guard could go, but this one is like 150. So, and uh, this one is 150, 150. That is a little bit too expensive still for my taste. So, <laughs> I'd rather just not. Uh, multiple animals are hungry. Yes, we uh, figured, uh, hopefully, with the new keeper. Gosh. Like, imagine them dying. Like, these are the things that I never have to pay attention to when I play sandbox mode. But now I actually I actually do not really know. There, there is a keeper urgently requested. But where are you? <laughs> where are you? I mean, um, you are preparing food, which you are going for a rest. Yeah, okay, okay, I, I d it's definitely a good thing that we have two keepers because regarding the energy, I think it's good that they can switch together, but Edwina, I really do hope, a habitat one, okay, that is perfect. I actually wanna, um, wanna change this to flamingos, like so. And I actually want to name this one Otters and Tapirs. I, I will probably forget doing this the rest of the <laughs> series, but I feel like if this is going to be changed to the real names, I'm going to be a lot more happy. Right, okay, we have some vet research complete. Oh, that's a small quad otter. You have such a little cute face. I absolutely love these guys. Okay, and then we have some rewards. I did see someone mentioning this in the comments, and I was like, wait, we did not do that, but we did not. <laughs> so let's claim these rewards. 
Uh, souvenir profits. We, we actually do not have a souvenir shop. 100% um, complete of some Timberwolf challenge. Um, the barrier status is actually pretty low. Not that it really matters because we have custom fences. So, wait. Oh no, that's the tapirs and otters. Well, that is actually important to maybe just request a mechanic because we do have some glass walls right over here. Um, now, I do wonder. Let me just quickly check the settings because uh, I do want to know. Disable animal alert. No, okay. So, I should be getting some animal alerts, but why did I not see them yet? I, I can't really remember that. There is another option that I maybe turned off or anything like that. Let's have a quick look at the... Well, temperatures are probably good for all these animals. Water coverage is good. Water, water temperature... I actually have not really paid attention to that. Is this something like the animals are, are bothered about? Are you like playing in your mud bath? Oh my god, where's the baby? Wait, wait, where is the... Why is there fish? Why is there fish on the floor when you have an enrichment item? Feeder's not deep enough, you kidding me? I I swear, I really thought that I, uh, that I checked this. Okay, wait, if we just put this one here, it's still not deep enough. Am I going nuts here? Wait, why are you not deep enough? You should be deep enough. Feet are not deep enough. Okay, we need to fix this because I, I cannot put you... I, I cannot put you down here, right? Is that... does that work? It's not deep enough. Okay, we need to just pause the game. Pause the game. There is one otter swimming here. Is that gonna be all right? Let's just move you to here. And then we're gonna remove... Oh, please tell me that I am able to... Yes, okay, I am able to put that back. We just need to lower this just a little bit. So, okay, there's the feeder. The feeder, we can hide the feeder in a later stage, of course. Uh, rubber ducky... Okay, just so we can see, we're gonna hide it, but I just feel like I want to know where that, uh, where the feeder is for now. We can, we can actually just move it just a little bit to here. Oh god, no, we're gonna do that when there is water in. Okay, we're gonna put back the water, and now we're gonna move it so the terrain is not gonna do any weird and wonky things. Okay, that one is now ready. That is gonna make the otters a lot happier. Okay, everyone is going to spawn here, which is actually not a bad thing because, yes, we want to see. Oh my freaking goodness, look at that little face. Oh my god, you're so adorable. Oh my goodness, you are really cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love these small cloth otters so much. <laughs> oh my god, we actually already have a little baby now in here. I really absolutely love this. Citra or Citra. Okay, oh, uh, this is just perfect. Okay, the water feeder should be working at this point, which is a good thing. I hope that our flamingos did not die. Wait, did I actually... Um, looks a little bit wonky here. Okay, but it's gonna be alright. We have $22,000 at this point. So I actually just feel like... Uh, oh, you see, we, we now get these, these mentions here. As long as I pay attention to it, <laughs> which is going to be a thing. And hopefully, maybe, just maybe, we're gonna see that... Amazingly cute animation again. Low welfare? Why? Why? Your nutrition? Uh, animal is starving. Oh no! Okay, this definitely is not a good thing. We we need to take care of that. Um, I'm gonna urgently assign keeper. You know what we're gonna do? I think that is going to help us. I want to move you to quarantine. 
Uh, this is Zainab. So, Jameen. We're gonna do the same with Jameen. And we're gonna do the same with Amir. Because our keeper is not doing its job. And <laughs> feeding our animals. Which is just not a good thing. So, I am actually going to... Okay. I feel like we should train our keepers. Because I feel like the better you train them, the better staff will perform better. So we should just do that. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna train all our staff to at least two stars. Yeah, let's just do that. So these three flamingos are being brought to quarantine. Can we see their status here no we cannot so we should probably go to here and just check on the flamingos can we see that right over here you actually cannot see their oh yes you can see their welfare okay so low welfare is these three they are in quarantine and they will be taken care of by our vet in quarantine and i i actually do think that that is going to be perfect before we go and start uh, build this habitat for the Fennec Fox, I want to see what we did on lock here. Toy enrichment, toy enrichment, and a fun fact. Okay, so level two is going to be the food on lock right over here, which is going to be perfect. Let's have a look real quick if we are able to buy another toy for our lovely cute otters. I'm going to turn off these blueprints. And we have a rubber ducky. I feel like we already have a ball. <gasps> we can have this submarine uh, boy, boy, boy. I don't know how to call it. We can actually have this one. I think that's going to be super cute. I, I really love this toy. It's so adorable. Other than that, maybe the bubble machine as well. I mean, the bubble machine, we're, we're going to redo this habitat, but the bubble machine is too adorable as well with these otters i'm not really sure oh shoot we already have a bubble machine ah uh, okay well but well we did not have the boy for, for definitely not so i think that's gonna be fine oh man so these tapirs is the offspring july year six so it's now march uh quarantine passed ready to leave Jermaine, Zainab, Amir. Okay, so they can all be brought back to their habitat. Is that something... It's been such a long time since I use this. Okay, they should all be good. Is this a welfare? I'm not entirely sure, but... I, I, I only hope <laughs> that they are not dying anymore. We can see that in this list probably now. Okay, okay, so it did not help. Oh, I actually was hoping that their nutrition just would go up. Does that mean, do, do they still have food? There is food in here. Now, hopefully it will be enough. Okay, we have a, oh man, there is just already so many things we need to take care of. <laughs> and we only have like three animals in here. Wow, that's insane. Uh, right. Asian animals. This is this. The flamingo is pretty much Asian and Africa, so I, I find this this animal a perfect spot here. But we're also going to have so we have Asian, African, and, and probably like a South American uh, region as well. But for now, so so this this area is probably going to be Asian, and then I feel like we should just go for like an African area right over here, maybe like a little South American area right over there, and maybe Australian or. North America? Nah, I don't, I'm not really sure if we're gonna get North American animals in this tropical biome, but, but who knows? Who knows? Maybe we will. Maybe we will. Um, we have an inspector report thingy. Inspector seen Wasim otters. Uh, well, I think that wasn't too bad. Uh, what is this? Mechanical research is complete. Oh, that's a good thing, actually. Oh, God, you're unlocking so many blueprints. We do not want that. Uh, European theme, North African theme. Well, actually, it's all right. You you just go and do your research, and then uh, we will unlock everything from the European theme, and then we have research everything for now. Do I hear? Oh no! Don't tell me. 
Oh my goodness, you kidding me? What? For Jameen? What's wrong with Jameen? Jameen? What is going on? What is wrong? There's nothing wrong anymore with Jameen. 82% welfare. I think you guys need to leave. Right, you are leaving. <laughs> Perfect timing. Right, let's go and build a habitat for the Fennec Fox.
So for those who remember my Fennec Fox habitat in City Zoo, this is definitely inspired by that. I think you can also download that habitat if you buy me on Steam. Uh, but uh, yeah, while well, talking about Steam, I will be uploading at least this one to the uh, Blueprint, Blueprint <laughs> collection list. In uh, the description of every video, you can uh, find all the blueprints that I will be uploading and using uh, throughout this whole series so you can find uh, this one there as well um, if you're gonna use it you will definitely uh, need to adjust it uh, sometimes make it a little bit thinner or right over here we, we 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 go not exactly round so yeah you you need to play around a little bit with that and you can just like change the fences a little tiny bit etc uh, play around with it a little bit if you want to build something like this but Obviously, this one, <laughs> like, her money went so fast down, so I, I didn't go uh, too crazy. But the, the idea will be that we're gonna have some really cool rock formations here, also on the backside and stuff. We're really gonna make something uh, really cool and detailed out of it. That is why, hello cutie. <laughs> I love these guys. That is why this, this, uh, um, the, the space of the habitat is pretty big. Um, if we look here, it's it's actually 482. If we click one of the Fennec Foxes, like we, maybe we can have uh, a few more in the future. 455 out of 210. So yeah, the rocks definitely reduce the uh, traversable area a lot. So that is why I, uh, I kept it a lot bigger. And uh, we still have, like, imagine we are having issues with the space. Then we still have like this. Uh, area right here in the back side that can make sure that they um th that we can expand it a little bit if even uh, like we don't have to pay attention too much to how many rocks we will be placing down in a later stage uh, but this definitely already looks quite cool honestly i mean yeah i i think this is definitely something uh i i wanted to do again because i had so much fun with that fennec fox habitat in the city zoo uh, so this one is going to be a version that you can really use uh, for any franchise series. So when this one is finished, of course, I will also be uploading the whole blueprint for anyone that wants to use it. But I don't think that that is going to happen anytime very soon. So in the meantime, you will be able to uh, make your own and use this piece uh, to see. I I'll also you uh, like upload decides separately or like a set maybe i will just upload a set so you also have this side so you can use those as well uh but yeah we have a fennec fox in here right now and uh, these guys are absolutely why are you walking through your water thing <laughs> these guys are absolutely stop running stop running there you go these guys are absolutely the cutest and i think this is just fun to have 
some different type of habitats in our franchise series as well. I definitely also want to focus more on like indoor buildings and stuff. I am like, as many of you who are following the channel, I am really enjoying the uh, zoo tours that we are doing at the moment. Well, we are doing them for, for quite some time now. And, uh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my goodness. I love these guys so much. They're so adorable. <laughs> But um, yeah, and I'm really enjoying it and it's really inspiring me to, uh, yeah, just do some some other things as well. And uh, so, yeah, I really do hope you guys will enjoy that as much as I do. Wait, what do we have here? Breed a habitat species, breed a new habitat animal. Didn't we already do that for quite some time? But that is going to give us a thousand, which is actually really, really good. A zoo reputation 1.5 needs to be two. So we can get like another 2,000. That is actually really nice. Um, they do not have an issue with the social group. No, that has to be a minimum of two. Now I actually want to see. Can we now compare these guys? Oh, yes, we can. Oh, 77. That's not bad. Oh, that's actually really nice. I do really like that. Okay, 77. That is not bad bad definitely not bad um so yeah we we have this this lowered area right here obviously we're gonna do some different things as well but especially in the beginning i think uh using a little bit of different high elevations here and there like we are doing right now is definitely going to look nice we're gonna fill this all up with planters in a later stage and make this all nice lush and tropical Wait, do... is our tapir already pregnant or something? <gasps> wait a second! No, wait, the tapir was pregnant because we now have a little baby! Oh my god, and I did... oh my god, look at that face! <laughs> the tapirs are so adorable, aren't they? I totally miss out! See, that's the problem. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I need to play the game for just a bit. Uh, like for, for some progress or like bringing the fennec fox, for example, to the habitat. Uh, but I tend to like keep it on pause mode as much as possible because else we will miss out on stuff. But we're also not earning that much money if we keep it on pause mode. So need to try and find the right balance for that, I guess. Oh my god, you're so pretty. What are you? You're a little female. Taman. Hi, Taman. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god, you're so dirty. Oh my god, have you been playing in the mud pool? <laughs> I think you did. Now I forgot to say, we do have a, a new education point right over here. I do need to select the Fennec box. There is no educator assigned. Uh, requires a staff member. Wait, did I actually already add this to the work roster? I actually have no idea. No, it's not. So that should be good now because now that one is in a work zone. And now we can go back to... Where was that again? Education. Animal talks. Okay, so we have this one in March, August. Okay, wait. If we do March... Then, we, because this is the same educator, I think it is. Okay, so March, April, May, June. And then June, July, August. Should we make this September or make this October? I think we should require staff member to be able to access this. No education. No educator assigned. Oh, wait, you are probably in a different work zone. Uh, you have everything, you have flamingos, so we actually... Oh, wait, that's the keeper. No, 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 that's me. I am gonna change this one to everything, and now that one should be working, if I'm correct. That one should be working perfectly fine. Is food throw pass blocked? Yeah, obviously, because it is all closed on the edges. Uh, oh, I think I actually made this the perfect height. Just high enough for the adults to look into the habitat. I'm not like a huge fan of this glass. I do like the glass of the uh, the, the fences 
a little bit more. There, there are more. Yeah, I don't know. The textures are a lot better, I guess. But to make these custom walls and stuff, this definitely works a lot better. Wait a second. Did I miss out on any greater from wing? Greater from so many greater from. Can you turn that off? <laughs> can we turn that off? Yeah, we can. Oh my god! But then mm, no, we, we. I think we should keep this for now. But. There are so many greater flamingo messages right over here. Uh, Malaysian Tapir had offspring. Oh man, this is going to be challenging, like really challenging to not miss out on these messages because I'm just not really used to uh, looking at that. Uh, how is our research doing? Because I do want to make sure that we can do some research uh, for the Fennec Fox as well. Uh, education, transport, wait, where are you? Vat research right over here. Okay, research completed. So we now have a level two of the otters. So I think I'm gonna put this one right away to the fennec fox. And we can now also upgrade the food quality for the otters, which is actually a good thing. I think we're gonna put this on grade two. Where's that little baby? Where is that? Oh, look at that. You're eating from your forage box feeder. Oh my god, look how adorable these tapers are. <laughs> Aren't they the cutest guys? Tell me if you agree with me. Look at these little ears. Also, just the patterns of the, the baby tapers is just so adorable. Um, Where are some otters? Where are they? <gasps> oh, that one is working now. Perfect. Oh, they're all swimming right over here. Which one is the baby? Wait, which one is it? <laughs> there are three swimming around here. Pause. Uh, that's an adult. That's an adult. Oh, right. So the little one. You're already one and a half years old. Jeez, you're growing so fast, aren't you? Look at that little face. <laughs> God, guys, I just love these guys so much. And now, hopefully, very soon. Ooh, look at that. We almost missed this. Oh, we were right on time. Oh, my God. We're getting some baby fennec foxes. Did it work? Yes, it did. April. Oh, that's in two months already. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be so amazing. Ooh, I'm so happy. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> these cuties. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up right over here. But uh, yeah, as I said, you can download uh, some pieces of this big cage, as we're going to call it, uh, already from the collection list in the description of this video. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And do let me know, of course, what do you all think of this new episode of our tropical franchise mode series? And obviously, keep a close eye on my community wall for any polls for new animals that we're going to add. And we'll not do it for every animal, but I will try to do it as much as possible for as many animals as possible. But yeah, leave something nice in the comments down below. And uh, I really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.